Okay, so today's video is probably going to be aimed at a slightly younger audience, but I wanted to talk to you about whether or not university is actually a good investment because I'm one of those people that probably has an unpopular opinion about this and I just wanted to explain my reasoning. If you've been following me before or if you look at any of my other videos, you'll see that I've generally been quite successful in my career. Now, despite what loads of people think, I've managed to do this without a university degree. Yes, I can already hear the shocked gasps out there, don't worry. I don't want this to be a really long and rambling video, so I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I'm gonna tell you my story and then just quickly tell you what I think about when university is worth it and why I think the majority of the time it's not. So part one, my story, I basically went to university for one year and like two weeks maybe. I took a gap year after college and this was mainly just to earn some extra money before I went to uni, have some time out from education and it was great. I then proceeded to go to university for a subject that I hated. Um, I did a year at uni and then because of how much I hated it, I decided that I'm the kind of person who can't do well at something if they don't enjoy it. So like, I'm just not gonna apply myself and I refuse to pay the amount you pay for university and not get a first. Like, I just wanted a first class degree and I was just like, nah. So the first thing I did was I applied to change course and that I applied to change to accounting and finance purely because I was always good at numbers, I was always good at maths and things like that. And because out of my four A levels, one of them was maths with statistics and one of them was accounting, they said, sure, fine, you can go to accounting and finance. Off you go. But during that summer, I also applied for a few apprenticeships. I went for a couple of interviews and one of the things I applied for, the company got in touch, sorry, the agency got in touch and said, look, we don't have this thing that you applied for anymore, but we have this other apprenticeship if you're interested. So I was like, mm. I looked at it and I was like, yeah, fine, okay. And it ended up being a really good offer. So when I found out I got the job, I remember speaking to my accounting teacher from college who said to me, you don't need a degree to be an accountant. So I thought to myself, well, why am I gonna waste three years at university studying accounting and finance to then go on and do one of the chartered qualifications anyway? It just didn't seem like the right way of approaching it because my three years at uni would be a waste of three years and I would be in so much debt at the end and then I would still have to do the qualification. Whereas on the other hand, I basically got to not only be paid a normal wage, it wasn't even like the crappy two pound an hour apprenticeship wages that like so many apprenticeships you see do, although I think they're getting better now. It was a proper wage and they were gonna pay for my qualification. So to me, it was a bit of a no brainer. So I left uni with still a lot of debt, despite the fact I left after a year and a few weeks and went on my merry way. And then you'll see my video about sort of getting promoted and things like that. So I did really well on my apprenticeship and it worked out for the best. I'm now like a lot more successful than a lot of people I know who have gone to university. And I'm so glad that I did what I did. Like, yes, there are still certain people who will look down and say like, oh, you don't have a degree, like, meh. I don't care. Um, I was about to swear there. <laughs> I don't really care about their opinion because I'm really successful. Like, why does it matter what people think? However, this brings me to the second part, which is my general thoughts about whether or not university is worth it, whether or not university is a waste of money and stuff like that. So here's the way I see it, okay? Most jobs don't need a degree, at least not in England. I know, for example, that there are certain countries where this is still a bit weird. Um, for example, you know, in my video about my fire plan, I mentioned wanting to move back to Poland. Now, in Poland, a lot of jobs still do need a degree. But also universities aren't as expensive as they are here. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are free. And similar in France, actually, I know that from one of my friends. So if most jobs here don't require a degree and you can get through apprenticeships, and the government is doing so much to promote apprenticeships now, they really want people to go through that route. Why would you waste your money? I know a lot of people go to uni because they're not sure what they want to do with their life, but why would you pay what is now a significant amount of money? like? When I was at university, it was £3,000 a year. It's now £9,000 a year, plus your maintenance loan, if you get that. Like, that's like £12,000 a year that you're paying just to decide what you wanna do in life. Why not take a year or two out? It doesn't matter. I know people who've joined universities at like 30 when they've decided what they want to do. Don't just go to university to figure out what you want to do or to party because there are other ways to party. You don't need to get yourself into mountains of debt 
in order to just have fun. Of course, however, there are certain jobs which genuinely require a degree. So what I'm saying completely doesn't apply if you want to do something like be a doctor or be a psychologist or a dentist or a vet. Like, of course those things actually need a degree and by all means, if that's what you want to do, 100% you have to go to university. <laughs> but I'm telling you, in England, the majority of jobs now don't require a degree and a lot of them will do apprenticeships where not only will you earn money, they will pay for your qualification. As I mentioned before, I'm a chartered accountant now and I didn't have to pay for my qualification and I earned a decent wage whilst I was studying. A lot of people don't see student loans as actual proper debt and I get that the interest rate might be really low and usually it's like a tiny little bit plus RPI and whatever else, it's still interest. Like, I remember the first time I really looked at a student loan statement and I was like, holy crap. Like, oh my God, I'm paying so much more interest than I thought I was. And it really dawned on me how much of a waste of money this whole experience had been. A lot of people think like, oh, I don't even see that money. Like, they just take it out the way that they take out tax. So, would you not want to not have to pay tax and have some of that money back? Like. That's how student loans work. When I paid off my student loans and I had that extra, like, whatever it was, it was like between three and 400 pound a month. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God, I have so much more free cash. And then I like put that towards my debt and stuff, but it was just crazy. What I'm trying to say is don't just jump into university because it's like the done thing, because the done thing is sort of changing and you might end up being in loads of debt with really very little benefits for that experience. If you haven't figured out what you want to do, take a gap year. Gap years aren't just for traveling the world, if you can't afford that. You can take a gap year like I did and work. I worked through my gap year to earn more money, to move out. Like that was my gap year. Why not do that and really think about what you want to do? If you decide that that's what you want to do and go into university and things like that, that is absolutely fine, of course. But don't just jump in and think like, yay, I'm gonna like, party loads and have the best life for three years and then have nothing really beneficial from it. Like, I think it's different when, you know, things like post-grad qualifications can help you and things like that. Like, I basically started an MBA in my last job and then I had to leave because I moved jobs to a different company so I could no longer do this. But because I'm already a chartered accountant, that qualification is actually seen as a master's level equivalent. So it's as if I already have a master's. It means that that gives me entry into other post-grad qualifications. But yeah, I just wanted to give you something to think about because I think a lot of people are still trapped in that mindset of apprenticeships are just something to look down on and university is like the be all and end all and you're gonna be failing at life if you don't go to university. I am a living example to show you that that's not the case. And actually one of my old directors is now one of the partners at one of the big four accounting firms earning a significant amount of money. He also did not go to university. So think about it, you know, especially for things like accounting where all that, that degree is, is it might make you exempt from a couple of the exams, but you still have to go through the insane amount of exams to be a chartered accountant. So that's kind of my two cents for this, um, you know, Feel free to disagree, but I wanted to put it out there just to sort of help you make the decision um, if it is where you are in life. Um, if you're not at that point in life and you're still here and listening to me, then thank you for supporting the channel and stuff. But yeah, hope that helps. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, thank you very much again and see you in my next video. Bye.